Welcome to Drilling with Melissa. I'm Melissa. Nice to meet you. I decided to do a face-to-face -face video today instead of just looking at my hands as I have some I'm begging of like mm, scent smelling things. So I'm like, hmm, might be nice if they could see my reaction when I smell all the things. Uh, so this will be an unbagging of pretty placers. I'm so excited. And I also, I didn't do a video because I was just too excited of an unbagging video, I should say. Um, I got putty and wax from Sensible by Design. Um, they're from here in Canada. Um, pretty placers is in the States, obviously. But Sensible by Design is from in Canada, and uh, it's pretty awesome too. So I will also give you my my take on that. Uh, the wall behind me. Yeah, all this space right here, please ignore it for now. It's eventually going to have paintings. Um, this whole wall right <laughs> here is going to be like Hannah Lynn's. I already have Sasha and Jet just a little bit further over the other way. And I have um, two other ones completed upstairs. Angie and Oliver and Willow. Um, they're done as well and they're going to be on the wall behind me. So this is just all going to be Hannah Lynn diamond paintings. I'm excited. I just have to move them all. <laughs> I'll get there. I'll get there. Okay, so... Let's first get into the Pretty Placers package. So, um, I ordered these on Etsy. I'm just gonna bring it up here because I can't remember exactly uh, how long it took me and how much they cost and everything. Uh, being in Canada, the shipping was a little bit high, but hey, I. I wanted to try them, and if I want to try them, I'm just going to have to eat that shipping a little bit, I guess. Um, I feel like these will be perfect on um, the special drill canvases. Uh, using a regular diamond painting drives me batty. Okay. So, just bear with me a moment. How's everybody doing? I'm okay. Um, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, by the way. I know it's this is a day late, but you guys deserve appreciation. Um, being a mom myself of two fur babies and two kiddos, I know the struggle can be real. I know. So, happy Mother's Day to you. I hope you guys uh, had a great day and were spoiled. Okay, so. Pretty Placers. I ordered these on um, All right. <laughs> okay, so I ordered these on April 17th. <laughs> and I, I'm not prepared, y'all. I'm not prepared. I was so excited to just get these open and start the video because I want to use them that I wasn't prepared. Anyway, so I ordered these April 17th and they were delivered today, which is May 10th. So almost an entire month. But that's okay. Okay, that's okay. It's gonna be worth it. I know it's gonna be worth it. I can smell them from outside the bag. I open my mailbox and immediately I can smell them. So I'm excited. Okay, so each each crayon was nine dollars and fourteen cents. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, then we can talk some more about it. All right. So in the bag, got a sticker, it says girl power, 
I love it. I'm going to put it on my desk. I've started putting all these really cute stickers on my desk and on my computer, around my computer screen. And we got this little note that says, um, Dear Value Pretty Placers customer, thank you for your support. Our family has been hard at work innovating and improving your, our store. And with your contribution, we'll continue to be able to do so. Thank you. Um, you don't need any pretty preparation for your Pretty Placer crayons. Just slide out of the box and start drilling. We recommend to lightly touch the tip of your crayon to a single drill. Just a very light touch is recommended. Try relaxing your wrist if you tend to be a hard presser. Trans, which I am, so this could, this could be difficult for me. Uh, transfer to your drill to, transfer your drill to your diamond painting. If you press hard, we suggest not sharpening your crayon so much. A duller tip can withstand more abuse. Good to know. Um, we are here to make your day a little prettier, so let us know how we did. Your feedback and reviews are extremely valued by our family. So yet again, you can go to. Uh, Etsy shop pretty placers it's just down below it's gonna be backwards so I'll put all the deets there we go I'll put all the details and everything in the description down below the video and uh, you can just click on the link and um, yeah if there's not in the shop just favorite the shop and notification button and they're in and they go fast like lightning fast i had a hard time even like reading the sense i just like picked three colors and threw them in my cart and checked out because i already knew that i was gonna buy them so i was prepared financially for it yeah i just threw them in my cart and i was gone okay so the first one we have here is um banana nut bread it says right here on the box banana nut bread so they come in this nice little cute box, which is awesome. Pretty placer. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, y'all. It literally smells like banana nut bread. <laughs> oh, it's so yummy. I like the little boxes. Okay. Okay. Moving on to the next one. I bought three. Three in total. Next one is Strawberry Fields. I don't need to get closer to the camera. Can you see it all? I think it's backwards in the camera. Uh oh. I'll get the hang of this videoing eventually, guys. Just bear with me. I'm excited to smell this one. Oh, it's like, remember when you used to buy, be able to buy strawberry shortcake dolls and their hair would smell whatever, like, flavor cup, cupcake flavor they were, like blueberry cupcake, strawberry cupcake. So this smells like the doll's strawberry smelling hair. <laughs> Brings me back to my childhood. Yeah, that's definitely what it smells like. It's so pretty. And it's such a light pink that even if it does end up leaving a bit of a residue, um, it'll just take your toothbrush and it'll just come right off. Help all those drills like have a nice shine to them. Yeah, that smells beautiful. Okay, and the last one. Oh, it got a little squished. That's okay. That's okay. I don't need the box, but the last one is my ultimate favorite scent for like everything. Candles, wall air fresheners, toilet spray, just <laughs> make the bathroom smell good. It's apple pie. I love the smell of apple anything. Okay. Ready? Are you ready for this? Oh yeah. So that is amazing that is like apple and cinnamon and like a hint of 
caramely smell and crust. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so you guys. Oh, and the, the tip is already like more blunt on this one. So that's great considering I'm a hard presser. So I intend to use these ones. I've heard they're really great for AB drills. However, these the sensible designs are really great on ABs too. We'll get to those. But my main intention for these beautiful, smelling, wonderful, pretty placers is for the special drill paintings. Because like when you try to use a diamond painting pen on their metal tip, if it's like a bigger drill, give me a sec, I'm gonna pull one up. Um, I'm trying to find an example. <laughs> I'm not prepared, y'all. I told you, I'm not prepared. Oh, that's just the base. Where did that? Ah, there it is. Okay, so I recently did this one because I'm going to give it to my grandma. But you see these really big um, drills right here? So if you try to use a diamond painting pen, just getting all up close and personal with my face. <laughs> if you try to use the tip of the diamond painting pen on these really, really big ones, mm, not fun. Using the tweezer is okay, but you just, you really don't have very much control. Um, so I'm not sure how, I don't, I, I, on these really big ones that are nice and round and smooth, I don't think these will work that great. So I still think for a tweezer on these is what's going to have to be needed. But I'm hoping that using this on all these tiny little, all these other embellishments, like these ones up here that are awkward shape and don't fit in a drill pen, um, or like these little bit bigger stones can you see them and these ones I'm hoping that these crayons will be a godsend for those yes so anyways if they're not they're not whatever I'll use these because they smell so good and they're excellent for AB drills I'm hearing so yay okay okay so that was the pretty placers next is the ones I've already unboxed. So I, I, I'm I, sorry, I'm sorry. I was just too excited and I just wanted to use them because I was so frustrated finding something that I could use for hours and hours and hours and not have to refill my tip or as soon as I filled it, the glue wouldn't come out. I like the micro glue dots. I really, really do. That's these, okay. So I like them after they're really dirty. <laughs> so when you first put them in your pen, they're so sticky that every time you go to pick up another drill, all the glue dot just pulls right out or won't release the diamond, no matter how much I try. So, so long as it's a really dirty, like I have to get it, I have to like rub it on my arm, I have to try to like just dirty it up a little bit and it's, can be kind of frustrating whereas with this beautiful putty from Sensible by Design all I gotta do is stuff it and I can just start picking up the drills right away and the drill doesn't come off with the pen the pen doesn't pull like the the putty doesn't pull out of the pen there is zero residue left behind it is a game changer guys it's a game changer Okay, so from Sensible by Design, I got um, two waxes. I got coffee. This one is coffee. And I got, uh, oh, okay, this isn't wax. I'm sorry. I got two putties. <laughs> um, this one is I got two coffee, one for me, one for my friend, and a honeydew melon wax. Okay, so 
the wax or the putty, it does not have a very strong scent. Not by any means. Not like the pretty placers. No, 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 no. Not the coffee one. It, it kind of just subtly smells like vanilla-ish. It's, it's not very strong. So like if you're very sensitive to scents, you don't have to worry about this one being that strong. Um, so yeah, this one's coffee. And see the like texture? It's kind of like sticky tack, um, but not. Like it's not the same as the sticky tack by any means, I swear. So what you do is you just take some out of the container and you roll it up, get it all nice and warm and you roll it up into a ball and then you just shove your pen into it. Like so. And it fills it up. Sorry, I don't know that one. I wasn't talking to Echo, but Echo, the A device, <laughs> thought I was. Okay. So that's all there is to that, the putty. And then you can just have at her. I did all of my last Diamond Art Club painting, which is a 51 by 64 centimeter drill painting without having to touch the putty in the tip of my pen. I didn't have to fluff it. I didn't have to take it out, roll it around, stuff it back in. I didn't have to do nothing to it. It was the most relaxing time of my life painting. I had to change and fix the putty or the wax in my multi-placer more than like usually it's the other way around i can make this last very long but not my single placing now it's the complete opposite y'all i'm tempted to try and stuff some putty in here and see how far i get okay so anyways i ordered the two coffee putties and a honeydew melon wax however when i open up the package she had also sent me a honeydew melon putty which yeah i've already used to my other pen because oh my god it smells so good this one is a little bit stronger you can clearly smell the melon in this one but not overpowering like you don't have you won't get a major migraine if you're migraine prone to smells it, it you're fine so anyways i just messaged her and i let her know that hey i ordered a honeydew melon wax because I wanted to try both and that same day she had a wax sent to me in the mail and it was here within within the week they're like I said in Canada like me so it doesn't take very long to get it to me and the wax doesn't smell as strong as the putty but it's still there like I said if you have um, any kind of scent um issues that you won't have any problems with these uh so yeah their wax comes in like the little tub too and you just and it's it's a fairly like it's a fairly soft wax so it just kind of in, in my environment anyway i don't have a super hot environment right now um it's between 15 and 20 degrees celsius um and my living room is always shaded pretty much most of the time. So, and that's where my desk and workspace is. So it never gets super, super soft and it never gets super, super hard. It, it It's like the perfect consistency to scrape into your pen. So I haven't had too much time to work with the wax. I'm gonna try using the wax and not the putty on the next kit that I'm doing to see if I like it as much as I like the putty. But so far, it is a 10 out of 10 on that putty, man. Y'all, it was a breeze doing my painting because I didn't have to stop every 15, 20 minutes, half an hour to replace that, to fiddle with my single placer um, because I am a hard presser, like I said. And so that, that wax or the glue dots did not last me long at all, especially regular wax, like the pink wax that you get. Yeah, I was, it's so frustrating. Putty was a game changer. 
Highly, highly recommend. So now I have two of the putties and one of the wax, and I have two more putties on the way. I'm so excited. Um, they are some new scents that she just made. Uh, the one will be strawberry and pineapple, and the other one is just pineapple. I love pineapple and strawberry. <laughs> anyway, so that's it for today. I will put the um, information for all of these things down below, even where I found where the micro glue dots, if you want to give them a try. Like I said, they aren't awful. I don't hate them. I do like the micro glue dots. Um, I just, I didn't like how much effort it was to make them so that they were usable um, almost as soon as you put them in your pen. Uh, I had to work too hard to make them a little bit dirty so that that glue would release the diamond. And that gets a little frustrating when all you want to do is sit down and just start drilling. Um, because either you're going through something in your mind, you had a rough day, um, or you only have half an hour and you just want to sit there and relax for a half an hour. Having to fight with those, uh, the glue dots or any other kind of wax before you start can really diminish your painting set, um, session. So this putty is a game changer, y'all. And I am so looking forward to trying these uh, pretty placers and doing a special drill with them to see how well they work as well. Um, anyway, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, you can leave them down below in the comments section. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and thank you for watching my videos. Oh yeah, please subscribe down below and hit that notification button so that you can be notified anytime I randomly post a video and it is random. Um, I stick this in in my weeks with my full-time job. So, yeah. Thank you guys. Take care.